You've read about black holes on the internet, came across the unsolvable information paradox that physicists are still puzzled about after 40 years, intrigued and now trying to decode Hawking's new paper on BMS supertranslations. Stop, you're getting way too ahead of yourself. Let's go back to the drawing board. First off, what really is information? In the quantum world, it's about particular description of the states of particles, whether that be their spin, momentum, mass, or any other measurable parameter, and the probabilities of their interactions with each other. Quantum physics tells us that information must be preserved throughout the universe. That is, if I toss my cookie in a fire, it is still retrievable even after it's been destroyed. The burning of my cookie generated a very particular arrangement of ashes, heat, and light. So in principle, if we could reverse time, it is possible to reconstruct my cookie atom by atom. This universal rule must also work if I throw it into a black hole instead, right? Yes, if it were a classical one. A classical black hole is a region of space-time where its gravitational pull is so strong that not even light can escape after crossing the point of no return, the event horizon. From the outside, we can only measure three properties, which are how heavy it is, its electrical charge, and its rotational energy. There is no way to tell whether it was formed through the collapse of a star that is 30 times the mass of our sun, or if I somehow compressed the entire Earth down to the size of a peanut. All the information about its formation and my cookie is trapped inside the black hole. In theory, it's still there, just hidden behind the horizon. This information is now the black hole's entropy and is proportional to the area of the event horizon. Voila! Information is preserved and there is no violation of the laws of physics. But in the 70s, incorporating quantum mechanics into the big picture, it was discovered that black holes emit randomised thermal radiation, which carries away mass, leading to complete evaporation. If a black hole evaporates into nothingness, we would physically see the area of the event horizon get smaller until it disappears. Hold on, we just said that entropy is equivalent to the area of the event horizon. So where did, where all, did that all that hidden information, information go? go? Just like I am able to retrieve my cookie after I threw it into the fire, this information should also be preserved after it falls into a black hole. We now know that black holes probably don't lose information due to the holographic principle, stating that information is somehow encoded onto the event horizon in two-dimensional form, like pixels on your computer screen, which could potentially affect how the Hawking radiation escapes. There's an amazing thing about paradoxes like this. When we figure out the solution, we'll have discovered something truly fundamental about the laws that govern our physical reality.